Welcome back to the feed at night. Our next guest is coming to Punchline Philly this weekend, but based off his TikTok account, it appears his family puts quite the show on as well, including through the drive through Check this out. Get ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Ready. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Michael Yo joining us on the feed at night. Good to see you. I know you're laughing, but you realize that is a product of you, right? Learn behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my son is me. My son is me. And, and I don't know if that's a good thing, but he loves to make me laugh. He loves to make me smile. And my wife's just joining in on the fun. So it's a beautiful situation. <laughs> it certainly does look that way. If simple things like going through the drive through are to require this much activity. I mean, what else are you guys doing when you go to the grocery store, <laughs> when you go out to a oh, restaurant? <laughs> they're banned. Oh, no, no, no. My family gets crazy in a grocery store. We turn it up in a grocery store. You know <laughs> what I mean? My my son is grabbing everything off the shelves. I'm putting it back. You know, it, it's one of those things. My wife is just, you know, basically the only way my wife can shop is I have to stay with the kids in the car. I'm the <laughs> official, I am the official stay in the car with the kids person. You know, I actually do Instagram lives and people got to guess what parking lot I'm in because my <laughs> wife always leaves me in the car. So you got to hold it down, Michael. I know you love this That's because right. family influence is a big part of your act. Yeah, that's right. My dad's black, born and raised in Louisiana, has a PhD in nuclear physics, and served right our now. country in the army. That's right. My mom is Korean and she's blunt. She don't care. You know, she was the first person that told me I look fat on TV and had no problem with it. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> There's no way. I think we have the same mother, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're, right? you're, you're having a great day and they'll kind of somehow break you down. They keep you humble, <laughs> wouldn't oh. you say? Oh, yeah, but I, I was a little heavy. Like, I started TV like 15, 20 years ago, and I was like 50 pounds heavier. So my mom was like, you know, you need to lose weight. I was like, oh, my goodness, mom, okay. you were supposed to be excited she, for me. She was your manager, your agent, your influencer. Everything. I feel it. Everything, <laughs> everything to me, yes. Well, we love that you're coming to Punchline here in Philly. I bet you love spending time in Philly. Philly is the best because I hate the Cowboys, too. You know what I mean? It was the... It's the best thing when you show up to a place and you have a mutual hate for a football team. And I am so excited the Cowboys lost in the first round because <laughs> how can you be America's team and lose every single year? Yes, I love Philly. I love the history in Philly. Punchline, uh, the comedy, uh, Philly Punchline has been there from day one in my career. So they give me a date around this time every single year. So the people to Punchline, it's, it's just a beautiful situation. We sold out last year and I think even during a little pandemic still going on, we're going to have some fun. Well, we love having you here. How does it feel to be back in full force and interacting with the crowd again? It's great. I just shot my special last week in Tempe and it was so fun. It was so fun. The whole family came out and you know, people just People are ready to laugh, man. We've been locked up yes. for two years, and I was talking to my wife, and she goes, "You know what? It's just time to move on. You know, we need to we need to be careful, but we need to move on. We need to laugh. We need to start doing things again. And that's where our family is. I'm not telling how anybody else's family should be, but that's where our family is now. We know the threat. We've been safe, but we're also going out, and we're we're going to enjoy our lives. And that's my message to everybody. If you come out to my show, it's not political. It's just fun." It's just fun. All the comedians are great, so it's going to be a good time. Oh, we love to have some fun. Well, keep us laughing, yeah. Michael. We'll let you get back to the parking lot so you can uh, be <laughs> a little more. <laughs> you know what? Thank you so much because my family, you know, they keep me in that parking lot, you know. So I appreciate your time, and uh, I'll see you, Philly, this Friday and Saturday. Absolutely, All right, Michael. we'll see you. Good ya. to see you.